Hello class, uh, welcome to Introduction to the New Testament, an online course for the summer of 2019 with Greenville University. Um, my name is Nate Kerr, I'll be your professor for this course. Um, just wanted to send a brief video uh, to say welcome, uh, to introduce you to the course. Uh, I want to do a little introduction to myself first, um, talk to you a little bit about the course assignments, and then a little bit about the readings for the course, and then we'll be off and running. Um, first of all, as I said, my name is Nate, uh, Nate Kerr. Um, I live in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I uh, moved down here in 2002 to go to grad school, um, finished my PhD at Vanderbilt University, um, studying philosophy and theology, um, did my dissertation focused on New Testament apocalyptic, um, and so uh, that will significantly frame our course. Um, but beyond school, uh, I have, uh, in the course of being in Nashville, um, had a daughter, uh, Zoe, who plays basketball. She's a, a going to be a sophomore in high school next fall, um, and a boy, Silas, who uh, just turned one on May 1st. Um, I myself am a, uh, besides uh, reading and writing um, and teaching, um, studying theology and, 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 and the biblical texts, um, I, I'm a big sports fan. Um, I'm from Chicago. Um, you see Jordan on my shirt. Um, huge Bulls fan, huge basketball fan, huge baseball fan. Um, love to run. Uh, ran cross country and track in high school and college. Um, and, uh, and, and um, really just enjoy sport uh, outside of um, the context of studying. Um, and, 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 and just spending time with, with my kids and, and my wife, Kelly. Um, so I'll be here in Nashville while we do uh, this course, um, and my videos will be coming at you from Nashville. And I uh, just want to say hi um, and introduce myself and say welcome. Um, a little bit about the content of this course. Um, this is a survey, uh, an introduction to the New Testament. It's broken up into seven modules. Um, uh, we will um, be looking at uh, the whole of the New Testament from Matthew to Revelation. Um, and there are three basic assignments that you're going to be asked to do. And I want to say something about each of those assignments. One, each week you will have uh, video lectures by me that you are asked to watch. Um, I will also put my lecture notes on the, on the module site so that you can look at those as well in case you miss anything in the lectures. Um, and uh, there will also be readings um, that will be uh, copied and they'll be placed up on as PDFs on the website, the D2, D2L website that you can access. Um, you need to watch those lectures, listen to those lectures, read those texts, um, those readings every week, in addition to the assigned biblical readings um, that, that is being asked uh, to be read. As far as the Bible goes, um, I have asked you to order the HarperCollins Study Bible, um, but really the most important thing is to know that we will be using, for the most part, the new revised standard version of the biblical text in this course. So if um, you don't have uh, a new revised standard Bible, you'll want to have access to one um, in reading uh, the assigned uh, text for this course. Um, each week, in addition to the lectures and the readings, you will be asked to do two things. One, you'll be asked to enter into a discussion um, on our on the texts and readings and the, and the lectures in the discussion board. Um, you can do one of two things in the discussion board. I put up a question um, to guide discussion. You can respond to that question um, and then do two responses, a response to two other people, or you can pose your own question 
and then do two responses to two other people. In either case, what you need to do is you need to have at least three posts. Um, a response to a main question and then a response to, to, uh, to the responses of someone else or a question raised by someone else. Um, that is the minimum in terms of, of discussion. Um, I want these discussions to be an honest, open, engaging, in-depth discussion of the issues that are raised by you by the biblical text, by the lectures, and by the readings for the week. So make sure that you're not just simply saying, good insight, um, hey, that I'm, I felt the same way. Um, this is not just a time to, uh, to, to, to write a sentence or two. This is an opportunity for you to engage in discussion where you raise questions, where you critically engage, critically respond um, to one another. And I've talked about in the syllabus, uh, po netiquette policy etiquette on the internet. Um, just be nice to each other. Um, that's that's the basic rule. Um, we're all here to discover um, the truth of these scriptures as they speak to us and as they speak to us together, and we will we will do that together. Um, the other assignment that you'll have each week is you will have a 250 to 500 word, which is one to two page reflection paper, critical reflection paper. In that, I want you to directly engage with the readings from the Course and the New Testament text. I want you to not just provide a summary, but I want you to provide a kind of synthesis of, the, of what you've heard and read that week in the New Testament text, in the lectures, and in the assigned readings. Um, and raise some critical questions or provide some critical analysis of those texts, the biblical texts. Those will be the two uh, assignments that we have every module. Um, you will have one more major assignment that will make up a third of your grade, um, which is a biblical exegesis and hermeneutics project. I will be posting um, more about that project, in turn, in, including a rubric um, or a guideline for writing that paper. Um, but essentially what you will do is you will choose um, from a selection of passages that I have placed on the content of the website, a biblical passage, and you will interpret that passage, um, read and interpret that passage in terms of its, its meaning and its truth for us today. Um, and I'll be providing more guidelines on that, but that'll be the final paper that will, will be due um, at the end of the semester. Uh, for for each of you. Um, one last thing uh, before we go into the content of the course. Um, I've decided to take a different approach in the readings to the course this semester. Um, and that approach is to look at readings of New Testament scholars and theologians that are reading outside of the predominant European Christian West. In other words, what I mean by that outside of the dominant European Christian Western civilization is we will be reading readings from people who are not white males, people who do not look like me, people who are not white men. Um, you get enough and you'll get enough white man from me in the lectures, but we'll be listening to voices from Latin America. We'll be listening to woman voices um, from within the United States, woman voices from outside of the United States, Kwok Pui Lan, our first reading, for example, um, is an Asian woman uh, who um, is writing out of that Asian context, particularly, um, uh, particularly critiquing um, the modern Western view of how scriptures are read. We will be reading African-American writers We'll be reading Latin American liberationist writers who are looking at the New Testament through a different lens. Um, I want this not to, to scare you, but I want it to challenge you. I want it to, to challenge you to look at the New Testament in a fresh way or for the first time for some of you um, through, the, through the eyes of someone other than ourselves, through the eyes of someone who looks different than us, through the eyes of um, and through the voices of, of someone other than what, what we're used to. Um, I think that will be a challenge for all of us, including myself. Um, I look forward to accepting that challenge, and I look forward to uh, being a part of directing that. 
um, those conversations as we uh, approach that challenge together. Um, so that's me. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to email me, text me. My information is on the syllabus. I'll respond to email within 24 hours. Um, if not, if not sooner than that, um, I respond to texts a lot of times much more quicker than that. If you have any questions about the class, any problems at all, um, please let me know. I'm here to help you. Um, I'm here to uh, help you not only to understand this material, to do well in this class, um, but to grow um, in, in, in grappling with this, this challenging material of the New Testament um, and, and its interpretation. All right, um, welcome to the class again, and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the discussion uh, room very shortly.